Right guys, if you have a car that has a front forward alert fault, or your, your adaptive cruise control is not working properly, or you've got an ADAS fault or something of that nature, try this first. Most dealerships will want to try and charge you for a new front forward alert camera. This can be anyway up to a thousand pound. If you look in your manual, uh, your owner's manual, or if you look in the manufacturer's website, they all say, pull over, switch your ignition off and book into your dealer. When this quick fix uh, could actually fix the issue. So if your car's dirty and you've not washed it in like a month, which is like our car because my wife doesn't do anything other than drive the car, she won't clean it, nothing, that's my job, fair enough, um, then there's a good chance this could be all that's wrong with it. So in your bumper, you have a little tiny square radar sensor and in the bottom of the bumper, in your middle, it'll just like look like a square, a plastic square. Sometimes that gets blocked. So wash your car, pressure washer your car, don't spend ages just pressure washer in that square because you might damage something. Just wash the car as you normally would. Um, that's your first thing. Pop your bonnet, see if you can look down at that sensor or if it's safe to do so, put your head from underneath and just check the connector. Make sure it's plugged in properly because sometimes someone's been messing with it, it's not plugged in, you'll push the tab on the connector and it'll go click. So that could be another issue or another cause of the uh, problem. And then the final one to try is if you look in your windshield, you'll see a black square or sort of a black area and you'll see a little triangle where the camera sits. Get some glass cleaner, clean that part of the windshield. That could be your problem. If the camera can't see out, then it's gonna cause this issue. And then you'll also notice if you've got this problem as well, it won't be reading speed signs as well. So when, when you go down the road, if the car has the speed recognition uh, technology or system, you'll also know that that's not working either. So try those two things. Check your radar sensor in the bumper's not blocked. Check the windscreen's not filled for where the camera is. You may need to get someone to reset the code if there is one. If it's something like a U, I think it's 1000 or something like that, unfortunately that usually means that you need a camera. Try these two things first. If it doesn't, it doesn't fix it and you do book into your dealer uh, or you do take it to a garage, Check with your dealer first, they may have a software update available, that's much cheaper, it costs pence, they may charge you an hour's labour, a couple hundred quid, it's better than a thousand pound. So, give it a go, let me know how you get on, if it didn't help you at all, put some abuse in the comments, please consider liking and subscribing, see you in the next one, thank you for watching.